Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Smart. Uh, I've been asked by many people to do, well, I should say, put both these up here, how to take an Amplify system and do a wired secondary router. Yes, you can do that. You do not have to just use the wireless points here to extend the main Amplify HD router. You can, in this case, use a secondary one. Now, this is a standalone one that you can purchase. You can buy just this by itself to use this just by itself, or uh, you can add this to an existing system, or you can just buy two of these and do just two wired ports. There's a lot of capability within the Amplify HD system. It's definitely one of my favorite routers I've ever tested, so I will put a link where you can check out my main review on this, as well as the main setup on this, because this is just a wired addition to my, addition, my, my setup that I already have in place. So if you want to mix the two setups together, great. But what we're going to do is we're going to add this and see how simple it is to add this to the existing setup. Hint, it's very, very simple. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have the Amplify HD router, which I'm gonna take the protective plastic off of, because we're not gonna want that on there. All right, so there we go. And now we have the, obviously all the hardwire ports, the main pair, and then the four LAN connections. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna actually wanna plug this guy so it actually leads back to the main router, and then you have four LAN connections that you can wire in Whatever, so I actually have four ports, as well as one that actually leads back to the main router, and then we will want to plug it in to power using the supplied power adapter, which also, of course, has uh, plastic on it from shipping and whatnot. So I'm gonna get that off there real quick, and uh, let's see, where is that? Of course, it's hard to see where the heck the little thing is to take it apart. That's yeah, not a big deal. So I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get the power in real quick back there, and then we'll, put, we'll actually take out my uh, ethernet bridge back here, or my ethernet switch and replace it to put some Wi-Fi in here. All right, so we're gonna worry about cleaning this up later, but what we're gonna do is, this is actually the main connection from the router. Like I said, I'm gonna place that into that guy there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just take the four connections that I have here uh, and get those actually plugged into the shared wired connections. Uh, these go to like my hubs and stuff for Philips Hue and stuff. And I'm going to worry about getting this, all the wires taken care of later. Um, and then rerouting those and actually get them all zip tied together. But to start, this will be a, a good place to start. So I'm just going to set that right there. And uh, we're going to get the, oh, I had the, actually, I actually have the power back here already. What am I doing? Go ahead and get the power connected. And now, even in this case, I'm putting this in my home theater area. I can actually turn off that light altogether if I want to, all through the app. But we're going to let that guy get set up, and then we're going to get the app out to get it to work. All right, so now it says to open up the Amplify app, which I'm going to do. And log into my system here now. I actually took down one of the um, legs here. It's actually in the other room restarting. Um, however, you can see now there's a new mesh point. It did it automatically. I didn't even do anything. I'm going to go ahead and add that to network. Just click the Add to Network button. Click, boom, done. Configuring. Name your mesh point. We're going to call this one Living Room. Because that's exactly where it's at. Hit Setup. Unsupported firmware. During upgrade process, router might restart. Continue. All right, so now it's actually going to go ahead and configure itself. So we're going to give it a few moments to go ahead and configure. And uh, we'll be back here in just a few moments. Actually, just as I, I got another thing, your Amplify device is being upgraded. So that's exactly what's going on. It's, it's updating the device. And I'm going to go ahead and let it do its thing, and I'll be back here shortly. Uh, you can see that my other one came online. So now I have all three of my main ones are still currently set up and running. Um, that one was here in the living room, so I moved that to a different location. I might move that to a different location again. We'll see how everything uh, pans out. But I uh, can't wait to see what happens here. So... Tap for another option. Upgrading. All right, so it's still configuring, still upgrading. Oh, please wait. I guess maybe I don't have to stop the video after all. I mean, I haven't done anything other than hit, yeah, sure, add to network. And hit OK a couple times. But that's the one thing about the Amplify system. It is crazy easy to use. I think they did a fantastic job of making this very user-friendly. Um, and even in this case, the wired setup. Can't wait to see how everything goes here. So we'll give it a few moments here and see what happens. 
Okay, so it just went off of the upgrading, and it says connecting now. So we're going to give it a few minutes here to see what happens. Um, I, like I said, I haven't done anything else other than let it do its upgrading process. Obviously, the firmware on this was different than the firmware on the main system. So now it's connecting. Hopefully, it just comes online automatically. I, I, we'll see. We'll see how it all comes up. Better. Okay, so it just came online and just came online on my phone as well. So you can see Schuster, and then we have the two wireless ones, and then the living room there is there as well. Um, and that's an HD. So I'm assuming that's what means a well, a wired connection. I don't know. I guess it's still HD on all three of them. So secondary ones. Um, so that's crazy. All right. Well, there we go. So that was uh, stupidly simple. Uh, no internet connection. I don't have an internet connection currently. Or maybe it's just because it's currently set up. Oh, nope. There it goes. And I can just like on the main one, I can see the information. Speed down. Let's find out here if I'm I'm on I'm on Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and pull up. Let's pull up one of my music, my YouTube videos here real quick. All right, so we're in the settings here, so we can see exactly my, how my setup currently is. I have the three secondary or, uh, nodes, I guess, that are attached to the main unit. However, if you actually see over here, there are wireless connections, and that's because even though we wired that to the main one, it is still using Wi-Fi. So the last part of the setup. It's actually making sure it goes wired. So we're going to select living room, which is what I called it. And backbone, Ethernet backbone. We have the Ethernet cable in place. It's good to go. All we have to do is enable it. So I'm going to enable that. But I'm also, while I'm in here, I'm going to turn down the LEDs. Um, turn that down quite a bit. Because it's in my living room. It's in my home theater. So I'm going to hit that and hit this. Make sure you hit the check mark up here. Processing. It's going to process. Um, it's probably going to go offline here in a second. Uh, but we should see that change from Wi-Fi. So it actually looks like it's connected. And now we have a wired connection link. So now that is linked directly to the main router using the Ethernet bridge, uh, an Ethernet backhaul rather than a wireless backhaul. So that is how you get a do a secondary uh, Amplify HD router as a wired secondary access point to your main one. Uh, and you can obviously intermix this. You can do mo more than two of these if you want to. You can do a whole bunch of them. Uh, you can intermix them with wireless and wired. I didn't have to do anything other than just add it to my existing setup. And it's going to also relink these uh, accordingly to find out its as fast as fastest connection possible. And it'll automatically do that. You don't have to mess with any of that. So that's that. Obviously, we have the lights turned off. Turn, it, uh, turn the LCD display down. Now you still have full access to the LCD display, but she's good to go now. So you can see here on the primary unit, we are actually getting uh, variations because I am actually on, down, on on YouTube and it's using different bandwidths. So that one's actually showing the actual full network. So I think here at the secondary one, it's actually just showing you the upload and download at this specific node, at this part of the router, not on the system as a whole. So. Um, I see that actually I, I like that I also don't I can see the, the downsides to that. I would like to see no matter where I am what the full network is doing but it's not a big deal now in order to do to change any of the other settings uh, I will point you over to my other setup video where I did the full setup um, and that's gonna be the same way to set up this if you want to change any of the options but that's how you hardwire uh, a secondary amplify router to the primary one plug it in wire wire uh, wire wire it up and when you do the second one, it'll ask you to add to your network. Pretty fast and pretty easy. So, uh, two steps. I would say three, I guess. One, connect your cables, power, get it booting up. Two, open up the Amplify HD app and say, yes, add this to my network. And three, go into the settings for that specific router, this specific router, and change it to a wired backbone. That is it. If you have time to watch the setup video on this one, I highly recommend it because the setup of this is stupidly simple as well. Anybody can recommend this to your parents, your grandparents, because anybody that can operate a phone and download an app can set these up. And that's awesome. Um, which, to be honest, this is my number one recommended system currently on the market. I'm not saying that it's the best for gamers. I'm not saying it's the fastest system out there. I'm saying this is really easy to set up, 
Very robust. I have not had a single issue in my house since I've started using it. And the Wi-Fi range and capability of this is second to none that I've tested. So check out my router, my reviews, check out the, the main setup. If you have any questions, please post those below. Subscribe to this channel, hit on the alert button. That way you get alerts when I actually do more setup videos for you guys. And let me know what you think. Otherwise, share the video and uh, we'll catch you on a future setup. See you soon.